Hello to the Knowledge Creators here, and welcome to episode 7 of the Batch series, so please sit back and enjoy. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at if and else statements. Now, I think it was episode 3 that we briefly touched base on how to use this command, but it was just at the end of the video, we didn't go into much detail. So today we're going to be taking the whole episode to explore the possibilities and what can if and else statements do. Okay, so without further ado, let me bring up the syntax over here. And if you guys want links to this, the links will be in the description. Uh, it basically shows you the syntax or the phrasing of the command. So what does an if and else statement do? It does exactly what it sounds like it does. It's comparing, uh, it's a conditional statement that that says if something is true execute this line of code and we also have else statements so if this line of or if this um, statement is true execute this else execute that and you can see here that we can check if a file exists or we can compare two different items so we can say is item one equal to item two or if it's greater than item two or so on and so on so let's get into coding here let's just start with a really easy example uh, if one equals to echo true so last time I checked one doesn't equal two, so I don't think anything will happen, and there you go, nothing happens. Now if we change this to two, oops, uh, two, two does equal two, so it should echo, echo tr true right there. Now, in a real life uh, scenario, you're not going to compare just two numbers like that. Usually you're going to have variables, uh, so you're going to say if variable one equals two, two, or if variable one equals variable three, or so on and so on. So let's, uh, let's do that, so let's ask for the user input store it into the variable num and type a number just like that now let's compare that variable so if num is equal to 5 echo 5 just like that and let's pause uh, so let's type in 6 which does not equal 5 um, but I think I typed in something wrong because that didn't look right yeah oops obviously obvious forgot Got an equal sign. It has to have two equal signs. Five. There you go. Okay, so in um, programming here, sometimes we want to have multiple lines of uh, code or command um, after our if statement. So the way it works is if the statement is true, execute this. Uh, and you don't want to type in five lines of code in one line. It doesn't work necessarily well. It is possible to do, but it's, it's a little bit tricky because you have to separate each line. The easy way of doing it is just to do open bracket, enter, and then close bracket when you guys are done. So now let's try that. Five. Oh, 54. Let's try 5 equals 5, and we just forgot to pause, but it's there we go, it works. Now we can also have greater or the less than, so let's try if number is um, greater or less than. Normally you would actually use the greater or less than symbol, and this is uh, mostly universal for almost all programming languages, but in batch, as we reviewed in our earlier episode, this is already, uh, this is already reserved for a different operation. You can see that over here. So we actually have to use the abbreviations for each, which is kind of a pain. You just have to memorize them. So for example, greater than is GTR uh, 5. Let's echo greater than 5. So let's try typing 6, greater than 5. And remember, we can actually break this up into multiple lines um, if we type it like that. And let's just, for the fun of it, let's also add one for less than. And now if we run it, we run, let's try 4, less than 4. Perfect. Okay, so now let's check if a file exists, and then let's write some code that acts accordingly. So let's just get rid of all this over here. And uh, the way we check if a file exists, you can check over here if exist file name and then command. So uh, let's first let's just make a simple uh, test .txt file, and let's do if exist, and let's do the file name. Now, since we're in the same directory, we just have to do test .txt. We don't have to give a full file path. Let's echo. Uh, uh, let's do exists just like that. Okay, and then uh, that should be good. Let's try running it, and you can see that it exists. Uh, now, sometimes you want to report back to the user if the file does not exist. Uh, you want to say, like, error or something like that. Now, there's a few different ways of doing this. Uh, the number first way that's the easiest, but not necessarily the, the, the best, is you can just do another if statement, and you can have the word not. So if it does not exist, echo false error error and whatever you want to do 
um, just like that. So you can see that it exists. And now if we change the name to, for example, test with two T's, you can see false error, 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 error. Now that is one way of doing it. Uh, the better way of doing it, in my opinion, is to use else statements. So let's just make this um, on multiple lines here, just like that. The way you use else statements is you just do else, and that's to echo error. So if it, if it exists, echo exists, and if it does not exist, echo error. Just like that. Now, alternatively, you can actually combine them both, both of them. In this case, we don't need to, but you could say else if, and then do the same thing over again. Uh, but it gets a lot more complicated. So you can say um, not exist and and so on and so on. So you can do another if if statement on top of an else statement. But we're not going to do that for this example because it just gets confusing and it's completely pointless. Now let's actually have this file check if it exists and then um, let's do something. Let's have it run something or let's have it open it. And then if it doesn't exist, let's let's get it to create it. So first off, let's just say start test uh, .txt. So now if we start it, it's going to start it. Uh, it's going to open it up, and you can see it opened up test.txt. Uh, now if it doesn't exist, let's uh, let's create it, and the way we can do that is echo dot, uh, and let's put that into a test.txt. Now we went over this in a few, uh, previous tutorial on how to export to text files or make files and stuff like this. Basically it's echoing, or it, it uh, it's putting everything after the echo inside a batch file, and the way you do an empty line in batch is you do echo dot. So for example, let's just do that for example. Let's do echo hi echo dot echo dot. So if we run this, it'll do a couple different things. We'll look at it here. Uh, so first off, it opened up our test.txt because it exists. Um, and here you can see that it actually made some empty lines of code. And you can see I have a space there. So it needs to be right against the echo. So it's basically taking an empty echo and putting it into a test.txt. So let's try doing that. Let's actually delete our test.txt. And let's run the command. And I bet you anything, oops, oops, let's minimize this, that it created it somewhere on the desktop. But I'm not going to find it, so I'm just going to run it again. And you can see it opened up. So it obviously it exists. Oh, it's right over here. There we go. So that's a really quick look at if and else statements. Of course, you can do way more with it. This is just the very beginning. Uh, but check it out on Google or check out other YouTuber videos. There's lots out there that are excellent. Uh, but anyways, I guess that concludes this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Make sure to check out my uh, Twitter, Facebook, and I guess Google+, Plus because that apparently is the thing now. And uh, I guess that's all. I'm technology crazy. Goodbye.